Oh. <clears throat> hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> I just got done with a uh, cycling class and uh, I had to just sit in my car and uh, do a little self-check, make sure I was still all right. <laughs> I've been sitting here for like five minutes checking, okay, my knees, okay, my ankles, you know, <laughs> I wiggle my toes. <laughs> You know, I take a couple deep breaths to, you know, knock out the dizzy spells and and whatnot. I mean, and, and I tell you, I walk out of that class, especially today. Today we did some, for those who do cycling, we did this, the, the number 22, whatever that is, some level of hell. And um, just just brutal, man. And so I got to walk down the steps and, and I notice every pound my gym bag has and and, and uh, you know, I, I, I opened the trunk and I put my stuff in the trunk and I had to stay in there wait for the trunk lid to close because sometimes I have too much stuff in it and it'll open back up. And so I had to stay in there because I didn't want to get in the car and have that trunk lid open back up and have to crawl my big behind back out of the car and shut it. <laughs> uh, you know, and, 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 it, and it just reminded me of times that you know, I got hurt in football and I had to just kind of lay there for a minute and make sure I was still alive. <laughs> and I know we have times in our life when we run into severe trauma. I mean, I'm making a joke out of it, but, you know, when we run into severe trauma, I think some of the worst things you can do is immediately start moving and not assess the damage, you know, um, we, we call that denial in the therapeutic world, you know, where you're just, you, where you just keep moving along. And I don't know if we think that's courageous or, or, uh, uh, a, a good thing. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, you keep running your car with no oil in it, or you keep running your car and you know, the transmission is bad, you know, and eventually that car is going to blow up. And I see a lot of us do that. You know, we have, encountered some traumatic experiences if not one but multiple and we have not pulled over to assess the damage you know and once you assess the damage you you need to fix the damage you know um and that's why you know i love my my trainer sue because um i've just got a really honest relationship with her <laughs> and and i and i tell her every little thing that might be wrong and we will immediately pull over during the workout and stretch or she'll come up with an exercise to help me heal with instructions on what to do during the week so that I can continue on my journey to be functionally fit. You know, not just, not just you know, with, with the bumps and lumps in the right places, but so I can function healthy as long as possible. You know, your body gets older, but it doesn't mean it has to break down. It breaks down because of the lifestyle you have. And I'm trying to create a lifestyle of health, fitness, and functionality, you know, um, you know, I'm trying to mind the temple. <sighs> so, uh, <laughs> whatever you got going on in your life, um, uh, make sure you take care of yourself. Don't abuse yourself with work, exercise, or responsibilities. Make sure you take your time and progress at a, in a healthy manner. Um, uh, I don't know. For those who are on my Facebook page, you guys know that I lost another um, almost three inches. And I'm I'm super excited about that, you know, because it's funny because the scale has not moved uh, for probably about two or three weeks. And it finally moved uh, last was it Saturday. Yeah, it finally moved last Saturday a pound. And I and I broke I, I had plateaued and I finally broke that plateau. And, 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 you know, and this happened before when I was working with Leslie. Um, so I was familiar with the way my body works. It's like, um, it's like my dysfunction is so stubborn. <laughs> it doesn't want to give in to having something new. And if you look at that with our, with our own life, you know, whether you're struggling with depression, addiction, or anxiety or whatever, you know, depending on how long you've been like that, like I've been fat ever since I was a kid. And so my body thinks that's the norm. So so there, there's an incredible amount of stubborn cellulite on my body. <laughs> and because you guys know for the, you know, I, I do spin 
Now I'm doing spin like a cycling class three times a week. I do boxing twice a week. Plus I work out with my trainer uh, uh, like uh, two times a week. It was three times, but I, I changed it to, to two times. Whereas on Saturday, I do an hour. Um, and then I do my weight training on my own. Like I did weight training at home yesterday. Um, so I'm practically working out like six, seven days a week. And I mean, I, I can, I can run, I can move, you know, um, and I, and I do pretty well for my size, but I want to look healthy and not just be healthy. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's been the whole battle with, with my life, but it's kind of like that with our, with our own issues, you know, whatever you're struggling with, you have to put in the time consistently and you cannot give up. In fact, when I start getting discouraged, uh, when I start to plateau, I will change my work up, my work up, my workout up, you know, which is why I added a, a cycling class on Monday morning, which is great for me because I like to start my week with, you know, with breathing hard, with, with working, you know, clears out my, my sinuses, it gets my heart pumping, and it's just a great way for me to start the work week. And I get to talk to you guys. <laughs> so... I guess the whole message is uh, what doesn't kill you will definitely make you stronger. But you got to you, you, you get it's got to be intentional. It can't be an accident, you know, so it's all about the strategy of being successful, y'all. All right. So I'll talk to you later. Love you guys. I'm going home to get a shower. Peace.